Let's apply some convolution reverb using the SIR VST plugin. First, some file setup details. Inside my Reaper folder, I have a VST subfolder. Go to that website, find the DLL, and install it. Next, we need some impulse response files. I went to Freeverb 3, and they had a number of files to get started. You can also Google impulse response files and find lots yourself. Finally, I have a speech clip from the Open Speech repository, and I'll use that as the basis for the demo. All right, I've got Reaper started up here. Let me begin by inserting a new track. I'll place a media file, and I'll navigate to that speech clip from the Open Speech repository. Looks like the amplitude is a little low. I'm going to hit Item Properties. You could also hit F2 for that. Push Normalize, and notice that we got a boost of 7.7 .7 dB and we can see that the amplitude has increased a bit. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. All right, so that was the dry audio we were just listening to. Let's go ahead and apply the SIR VST. Look under VST, and I see all of the Reaper built-ins, but I don't see the SIR. What I'll need to do is go to Preferences, go down to the Plugins area, find VST, and I need to add in the directory name that contains my VSTs. All right, let's try that again. All right, there it is showing up in the list. Double click that, hit OK. All right, we see that the first thing we need to do is find the impulse response files. These are the ones that I installed earlier. And you simply need to select one of those and then it will populate the list with all the remaining. Here we see a visual representation of the impulse response and we can also see the duration. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. All right, you might have been able to discern a slight difference there. Let's try another little bit longer impulse response. This one's about four seconds. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. All right, that sounds pretty good. Let's take a look at some of the possible options here. Let's start with the dry wet mix. The birch canoe slid on the smooth land. Glue the sheet to the dog on the land. Notice how when your dry sound becomes less compared to the reverb, it sounds like the source is farther away. Got a shorter impulse response next, taking a look at pre delay. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dog dog back back. It's easy to tell the depth of the weather well. Pre-delay gives you the possibility of delaying the onset of the reverberation. Let's take a look at length. Here you can adjust the length of the reverb tail. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days, a chicken leg is a reddish. Rice is often served in round bowls. The juice of lemon makes my spot crunch. The box. All right, so you notice that length can be used to set the apparent size of the room. Lastly, let's take a look at equalization. You can adjust the EQ across frequency simply by clicking to add some control points here. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. 
glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days, it should be relatively rare. And then right click to remove those control points. All right, hopefully that gives you a little better sense of how you can use the SIR Convolution Reverb plugin.